Welcome to the next day of our holiday here in Orlando, where today it is a business before pleasure day today, isn't it? it has been, yeah. Yeah. So we've just been to our bank to collect our checkbooks. And the reason why we've had to order checkbooks, we actually ordered them a few months ago, ready for us to collect on this holiday, is because we've had an absolute rigmarole over these past few months over a certain bill that we've been unable to pay because we are not US citizens. Stay with us and when we get back to our condo, I will explain all about it. We've also got another business before pleasure day tomorrow, which will be the next video that you see about an application that we sent into our HOA. If you don't know what HOA stands for, it's Homeowners Association. We'll tell you all about that and what we've applied for and if we get accepted or rejected, yeah. don't know, we'll <laughs> find out tomorrow. So that will be in the next video. We also want to say a huge thank you to all our new subscribers. We've had a massive influx of new subscribers and also views on our channel, which is incredible. So thank you to everybody for all your support. We've had loads of positive comments on our videos, not just our recent ones, but I think people are watching our older videos as well to see where we started from. I mean, a condo looks nothing like what it does now, does it? No. We've come a long way in in uh, just three trips. So this right now is only our third visit in our condo since we've owned it. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So there's still plenty more things that we'd like to update over time, but you can only do so much per visit. Room wasn't built in a day. <laughs> And of course, we also want to say a huge thank you to all of our existing subscribers as well for all of your continued support. So back home now, just called at Walmart on the way to get some more shopping, a bit of lunch. Uh, now we're going to explain why we had to get to the bank this morning and get a checkbook. One of the bills that we have as a monthly reoccurrence is our management bills. So. Our property is managed by a company. They look after all the cleaning, washing. When we have guests, they're sort of the guest relations kind of thing. Now, they charge a monthly fee. So that fee normally comes out of the income from the rentals. So because we haven't had any rentals lately, there's not been any income to take that fee from. So we've built up a bit of a debit that we owe the management company. So for the past three months, in between us, from the last time we was here to now, we've been trying to sort out how to pay our management company our bill. The banking, well, our bank in particular, if you're an international client, the banking sucks, doesn't it? It's, it's rubbish. Yeah. The... We, can't, we can't use, the, the reason why it's rubbish for us is because Americans use something called bill pay. And to have bill pay, where you can send your payments online to somebody, you have to have a permanent American address. Mailing address. And also you have to have a permanent US mobile number, which we haven't got either of you. So no. you have to have both to be able to use bill pay. So because we haven't got either and we can't, we, like, we literally can't do it. Trust us, we've tried. <laughs> Two months ago, we contacted our bank um, and basically sorted out checkbooks. Now, we did mess up a bit, didn't we? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> because we presumed that they were free. So we just emailed our bank contact, says we need a checkbook for each account to pay our management bills. At the time, she didn't say how much they were or if there was a fee. So we presumed that they were free. Well, it turns out they're the most expensive checkbooks <laughs> <laughs> we've uh, bought. They cost $31 each. We decided that we wanted one for each of us, so we ordered two checkbooks, so 60 odd dollars that appeared on our statement, yeah. so that was a bit of a surprise. So then jump ahead two months and we've got our checkbooks now. So we've just been to Walmart, we've got some envelopes and some sellotape. Yeah, been and bought these peel and stick envelopes and we also bought some tape to tape it shut as well to make sure we, it doesn't come out. Yeah, we don't want it falling out in the post. No. So we've got to sort out a check for $1,500. Now that just isn't our management fees. There's also, we've just paid for a linen fee. I think that was $440. So every year 
all our towels and all the bedding gets replaced with brand new ones. And if anything gets damaged during that year, it they gets re replaced. They replace it. Yeah. yeah, our management company replaces it free of charge. Yeah. I mean, you know how much expensive bedding is. If we were to do all that for all our beds in here, it oh, would yeah. cost probably more than that. Yeah, it would, yeah. And also, as you said, if anything gets damaged, they replace it, don't they? Yeah, they do. For the year. That includes towels. If towels get stained or something, they get swapped yeah, out. Yeah, so that bill is also in this $1,500. Yeah. So call it $1,100 is the bills that we've racked up whilst we've been waiting whilst to... we've been unable to pay yeah oh not only that another issue is whilst we've been trying we've been talking to our uh, manager from a management company to try and pay send him the money well, and he was okay with us building up the the fees owed because we were panicking that we owed the money and wanted to get it paid off he said yeah. don't worry wait till you're out here next yeah so. because he explained that there's basically no other way to pay other than a check or a wiring isn't, isn't no. there no no. which we can't do so for us as international owners to our management company the only way we can pay our management fees is by check yeah but they also don't do they call it auto pay over here don't they yeah so to us direct debits americans call it auto pay our management company don't do that either so we sent a long email to our management company to explain how difficult it is for us international owners to not have auto pay. Yeah, it's frustrating because we pay homeowners association fees. Now they're taken by the management company yeah. and that's an auto pay process. So hopefully it's something that gets added in the future, but currently the checks are our only way well, of he, doing it. Our, manage, our manager completely understands our yeah. frustration with that. It's like you've got an auto pay for that, which you take, but you haven't got an auto pay feature to take your bills. Like yeah. to me, that makes zero sense. Yeah. So hence, we've racked up a one and a half thousand dollar bill. Not our fault because we've literally been unable to pay it. Mm. But he totally understands and he's forwarded on our suggestion, really. Yeah, of our frustration yeah. of it and what position we're in. And, and we're un unable to use bill pay to send any money. Yeah. Um, and he's passed that on and he says hopefully that they'll, it'll change in the future yeah. that it'll be um they will offer that as a another feature yeah so now we've got the boring business stuff out of the way we're gonna have some fun and go to hollywood studio It's actually behind us. No way. Might be quicker to walk. There. Well, everybody else is getting on. Yeah. Aren't they? Just stop the acceleration. So make sure we are holding on to all belongings and small children. If anything were to fall off the tram while we are in motion, just be like my friend also, let it go. Stay frozen to your seat. Let me know at the next stop and I will try to retrieve the items for you guys. God. Now sit back. Relax. Did a loop and driver, we are clear for dispatch. Because <laughs> you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> How funny would that be? Yeah. It literally went round and it went round and just stopped over For there. For your safety, <laughs> remain the seated stop. with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, oh, feet that brings and legs inside while the travel. We blinked our passes up to our bands last night, didn't we? Yeah. But this is our first time using them, so hopefully we've done it right on the app. And our magic bands work first time. We'll hopefully. see you in a minute. You got it in the middle? Yeah. I got you. Because I can't see it from the table. I'll follow it. What was I doing? Yeah, you, <laughs> you didn't put it bang on in the middle. I it's, remember. It's so temperamental. I struggled last time as well. <laughs> so, you've seen with Matt, 
you have to put it smack bang in the middle of the circle I and make his face otherwise it doesn't work it's so temperamental i think next time you're gonna have to hold my wrist in the right place <laughs> while otherwise i'll hold the cue <laughs> Here we are. I'm glad the sun's gone in a bit. Yeah, it's, it's nice a nice bit breeze. Of breeze as well, yeah. yeah, it's lovely. So look at right times. Yep. It's gone very cloudy. <laughs> I think it's about to rain soon. <laughs> as if on cue, literally a second later, it started raining. But look at wait times and everything's really low waiting to yeah, it's really amazing. Low, yeah. So Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway is only 35 minutes. So we're gonna head for that. So that's really low for that, isn't it? It's a really big really drop. <laughs> I'll stop running with it. <laughs> We're there anyway. Yeah. That's 30 minutes, Matt. Right. That's 30 minutes. That's what time it is right now. So see how long it actually takes. Yeah, I don't think it's 30 minutes, but we'll see. Hello, welcome aboard, folks. We're ready for a relaxing ride around the park. That was epic, wasn't it? Yeah. Really. We absolutely love Mickey's Runaway Railway ride. Where are you? Yeah. There you are. We've come out though, and it's absolutely pouring it down. So we've come prepared. We've got our jackets. My lounge flight is in a waterproof bag. We're going to head for the Tower of Terror. It's only a 25 minute wait, you said? It yeah, we answered how long uh, Mickey and Minnie's Oh yeah, it only took us 14 minutes to get on the ride. So we got quite lucky when we got through to the cattle pen where the snake you ran just before you get on a guy says to me parties of one and two let him know and we got put in a separate line almost like a single rider queue and got on a lot quicker didn't we yeah cool. right we're on tower of terror now so it's 20 minutes so that's the environment's quicker than what it says on the app
Tower of Terror. That was epic. That sequence was so good. Yeah, I think it? that's probably one of the best ones we've yeah. ever had. It was because it was full drops. Yeah. Some sequences we've been on, they're like really short, loads of short drops. This was like, what, a good four, five, oh, yeah, yeah. like full length drops. And there's a couple of shaky bits in yeah, the middle that was, as well. Yeah, that was so good. So Loved it. Now we're heading towards Star Tours, I think. Oh, it took us 15 minutes, by the way. Oh, yeah. So five minutes. Uh, Less quicker. than what it yeah, said. Yeah, than what it said, yeah. Question is, this going to be the new Monsters Inc. line? You says. Did you say that I'm these buildings, you yeah. read that these buildings are in that concept art? Yeah, from D23. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some of these apartment buildings are, and shops are in the concept art. Right, it's 30 minutes when we go on this now, aren't we? Resistance, we were on it in half an hour. That's fastest we've ever done it, I think. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, really lucky. I think we've today. only ever been on it after an hour away, haven't we? I think so, yeah. You support the resistance, but there's no resistance left to support. He's one of my favourite characters, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. So, the droids, we just had a look $120 plus tax to build a droid. Can build a BB unit or an R5 unit, I think it is, and mix and match all different colours and add-ons. And then they've got extras you can buy, like extra chips for different noises and a carry bag and stuff like that. <laughs> We're on Toy Story Mania now, it's meant to be a 25 minute wait, so we're going to see. We're not going to film on this one because it's not very good to film, to be honest, and we're going to have a proper competition and see who's better, so we'll find out after. Right, so we've just got off. As we thought, yeah, I've won, so... <laughs> <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> so yeah, I got 149,600 points. And what did you get, Lau? 166,300. Really? But after the first game, Matt got double my score. And I was like, how the hell how yeah. have you doubled my score? So I was, I was like, yeah. what on earth? What, what? On the, I was like, what are you hitting? On the first game, I was, was playing it completely yeah, wrong. There was a very little window with a, a goat in it that had a high score in play. So I, I went straight for that one, but then Lowell got wise to that for the next games. <laughs> okay, so we're doing Disney on a budget this trip. So we just stopped at Joffrey's for a pink donut. But while we were there, we've asked for some cups of water. So they're giving us free ice water. So yeah, and we've got these sachets to try from Walmart. If I can find it. If Lowell could find them. It's probably in here somewhere. Right, so four cups has filled two Powerade bottles with ice water. And a bowl this with us. Strawberry watermelon sachet. Not tried this one before, have we? No, but you did. You tried a fruit punch, didn't you? And that was super strong. That's one sachet. Nice. So we're gonna have half a sachet each of us, aren't we? 
That smells really nice. Right. I do, yeah, half. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hint of water, oh. Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you might be having this one. No. no, no. Give it a shake. Oh, it's getting. Me. I'm not having yours now. Difference of shades. Why? <laughs> not very equal. I'll try it, see what you think. That one's really nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I think it's because it's we've done half a sachet. Mm, that's fine. Pair bottle. Oh, that's really <laughs> take mine off me. <laughs> You that like was it? Really nice, yeah, yeah. That one's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. Yep. I've got all mine not mixed in at the bottom. Never tried one of these before. Have we? No. Cost $6.38. That sounds right, yeah. Yeah. And they put some napkins in my pocket. Snack between us, isn't it? Yeah, this will do us till we get back to the condo later. Back to you, back yeah. Condo, yeah. Very impressed with this watermelon. Right. I'm not saying that because of the bloody centipede that came from there. If you're walking. <laughs> yeah, you like it. That is very nice. Oh, good. Yeah, that's very nice. You have, you have one again then? Yeah. Oh, good. Definitely. Not bad price either, is it? We think it's like it's between us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So snap, it's snap $3 between each. us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. You need to share one. Mm. Very nice. Definitely be having them again. That's, I, think that, I think that's a brilliant. Disney on a budget, mm. tip into that. Come to Joffrey's, get your free water, refill your bottle with it, bring a sachet from Walmart if you can get there. For, for the ice water, you just have to ask at the till for some cups of water. Yeah. Don't ask, don't say water because they'll give you a bottle of water. Just ask for the cups of water and they'll give you ice water. Yeah. Now we're going to enjoy this now. So after we ate our donut and sorted our drinks out, the heavens opened. Literally just after. Yeah. <laughs> So, Tower of Terror was a walk on, so we decided to go straight for that. And yeah, it went to that again, Yeah, we? straight on. And then we were walking back because it looks like Fantasmic is going to be cancelled tonight. Yeah, we wanted to stay Fantasmic, didn't we? Yeah, but, but so it's we, still raining and it's half past eight now. So. so, we started walking to the car and then Lyle says, I wonder what the wait time is for Mickey's runaway. So, that was a walk on as well, wasn't Welcome it? Yeah. So, we're on our way out now and it looks very different than the night of the street. I think all the parks look different in our new name. Yeah, like, yeah. They look like a completely different park. Yeah. Because you notice things that you didn't actually notice because they lit up. Oh, well, that's yeah, yeah. Perhaps wouldn't have noticed them as well. Alright, we just got back home and we're going to have this pizza between us and we're ready for a Bud Light Lime each as well. We're going to end this video now. It's just me by myself ending it because um, Matt's currently in the shower and I'm going to go and have one now as well. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. We have had an absolutely fantastic day at Hollywood Studios today. And tomorrow we are going to go to, I think we're going to Disney's Character Warehouse tomorrow because Wednesday is meant to be the delivery day of all the new stock. Sorry, the battery just died. So yeah, tomorrow's plan, we're going to go to Disney's Character Warehouse and then we've got to come back home because we've got a very important HOA board meeting where me and Matt put in an application to have something installed and they basically say yes we can do it or no we can't. So we've got to sit in that meeting and it's also a chance for them to ask us any questions that they have. Well Matt can answer because Matt might be the one that's uh, that will be talking, not me. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sure what we're going to do after the HOA board meeting, we've not quite decided. I, we think it's definitely going to be um, a park. Whether it will be a Disney park or a Universal park, I'm not sure. So you'll have to join in the next video to find out where we end up. 
thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye